The days are long. The conditions, dangerous. The outcome, uncertain. Bad, man. Cold. These are just a few of the thousands of refugees from Africa, often French-speaking West Africa, seeking a better life in the European Union. My goal is to go to France, to get a job and to look after my family. Unlike the migrants who try to sail across the Mediterranean, these migrants are trekking through the Balkans toward Hungary, a European Union member where they can quickly claim asylum, but which also encourages them to head west without delay. When Hungary changed its legislation several years ago, if you cross the border into Hungary and you can ask for asylum, that uh, you are free to move. You are not being detained. 40, 50 percent of the asylum seekers who arrive in Hungary leave the country within 24 hours, according to the official information. Also, another 30, 40 percent of them leave within one week or 10 days. With asylum in hand, most of these migrants leave for France or Germany. And only a fraction who are caught by Western authorities are ever sent back. Even so, the trek can be life-threatening. Sandrine Kofi, a 31-year-old from Ivory Coast, made the trek this spring. In Macedonia, she became separated from her baby, a separation that lasted until she arrived in Hungary three weeks later. It's all for the baby, she says, so she has a better future. But she adds, if I had to make the journey again, I wouldn't do it. Ned Barker, The Associated Press.